watermelon champagne. It's rather delightful. It's and um, girlishly pink. What well, that suits you then? Mm. Watermelon champagne. It is champagne with a uh, or oh, plenty of prosecco. I'm not sure. It could be more prosecco with uh, a few like a like a heaped tablespoon of watermelon sorbet, which kind of melts and gives it a very very pleasant taste. Oh, so you didn't buy, like, watermelon-flavoured champagne, then? Uh, no. There was chocolate-flavoured champagne in my house for a while. That was odd. It, yeah. Always a, always a good way to describe yeah, it. No wonder it was at your house for a while. <laughs> kind of everyone tried it, and then just went, No. <laughs> no, thank you. It was just like, like the very odd aftertaste. Oh, my God. I have just found the um, the latest greatest spin-off of uh, Agar.io. How do I pronounce it? Agario. Agario. Yeah. Ovario. As in, please tell me it's not something to do with ovaries. Uh, Ovario has you battling and surviving as sperm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Conquer as many eggs as you can before your fellow sperm. Great. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> oh, I also have theme music, like an opening theme song for this uh, episode. Come through. If you put on, oh wait, no, because you can, because you're, you can put on your laptop. Don't come through. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. Mm. Okay, it's five minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I've been able to go on YouTube. I have the Star Wars like a New Hope album on my phone. I was very bored. And also one of the Cantina songs by I think I've got Jewel of the Fates. That's it. I have the Cantina song just because I had it and then Terry started hating it so I said it to everything on my phone. <laughs> just like, why? <laughs> uh, 20th Century Fox Fanfare main title Rubble Block Slash Rubble Blockade runner. Wait for it. Uh... Is this coming through clear at all? Sort of, yes, but why would the Empire? <laughs> yes. Okay, Shadow got from this theme tune. It's Star Wars! <laughs> Star Wars celebration was like. A week ago now? A week Which, ago, for yeah. Date purposes. The 16th? This is being recorded, actually, Paul. Sorry, let's start this off by saying Happy St. George's Day. Indeed, Happy St. George's Day. Which I was very annoyed at, actually. St. George's Day today. I was watching, having a quick peruse on E4. And um, I, I, they may have said it earlier in the day, but the brief clip I watched, they were like, oh, we have to celebrate Shakespeare today. I was like, wait, what? It's like there's other, probably, other things you could be celebrating of all things E4. It's just, it's just celebrating Britain, isn't it? Not Shakespeare. Everyone hates Shakespeare. Everyone has to study Shakespeare. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was I. Was, I was a bit like Nina. Nina's had to study Shakespeare all year. <laughs> I've studied Shakespeare enough. God damn it, E4. Yeah. So happy St George's Day, Mister Tini. Happy St George's Day, Mister Ludlow. Oh well, yes, obviously, and happy St George's Day, listeners. Even though we'll not be coming out on St George's Day. Happy. St George is the patron saint of England. He killed a dragon. <clears throat> he killed a dragon because he's a badass. Yeah. With a lance. Exactly. I mean, what have you got, other country patron saints? Please have nothing that cool. I would look a bit like tits. I'm waiting for the Irish. I'm looking at the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think I've said this before, but looking at the Toronto subway stations, there is a, a St. George, a uh, St. Patrick, and a St. Andrews. Fuck you, St. David and the Welsh. <laughs> I say, this has been a this has been a, a day of many things today then. This is obviously St. George's Day, that's the London Marathon. Oh yeah. Where one one of the were like an amateur runner could be taking part in the World Championships of Britain now. I don't know if you saw this. <laughs> I, I did not, no. I think it was over by um time I woke up, honestly. Ah, 
was excited. We were watching it. I don't know how it exactly works. I was excited with all the staggered start times, but obviously, you know, first off come the like the, the name people. Like if you have a name, you're like, ooh, fancy professional runner type thing. And I think the first British person to cross the line just had a number. So everyone was like, oh, well, he's done really well then. I guess uh, <coughs> we should probably have a talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of people kind of on the uh, the comments are like I mean it's the first two British athletes and it's a meritocracy so he could be going to the world championships <laughs> it was like alright yay <laughs> <laughs> it was it was really awkward though because um, because it was a regular runner I believe there's like two exits at the end of the marathon like one to the left is like the regular kind of go collect your bag collect your medal like you're just a regular on a good job. As I want to the right, which is like the, ah, oh, you're a, you're an, like an athlete, and you're like you're one of the people with those names. Like here's your like towel and stuff. And I think the guy was shuffled to the left, and like they're just the, you've done well, but <laughs> just got the regular exit, please. <laughs> you're like, oh, <laughs> you're gonna be like one of the the celebratory towels. I got a towel from the hockey. Even <laughs> I didn't even have to run for that. <laughs> Had to stand there and cheer. Yeah, lose my voice. Yeah. Um, but yes, the Star Wars Celebration podcast. Because Star Wars stuff happened a week ago. Good Star Wars stuff happened a week ago. Hayden Christensen was applauded massively, which I liked. Yeah. But sound, it's the course. Well, this is what I was afraid of. Like, he's probably... I don't know what he's done since Star Wars, and, like, he's probably fed up of hearing about fucking sand. And he didn't even... He didn't write that line, so... <laughs> um, I, think, see, I think a lot of the fans were, like... They just cheered him, I think. Because it was the first time he's ever been, I think. Well, uh, have a quick investigation, Hayden Christensen. Guess what country he comes from. Christensen? Mm-hmm. Is he Canadian? Yep. <laughs> Another goddamn Canadian actor for the. <laughs> yes. Where, where, where is in Ca- where in Canada is he from? Uh, he is a Canadian actor and producer, Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. See what he has done since Star Wars is marry Rachel Bilson from uh, the OC. I, I'd be all right with that. You can stop with that. Uh, st- he starred in the film Jumper. Oh yeah, he did do that actually. I remember, Which was. I guess, uh... Actually, you're right. I mean, wasn't wasn't he the bad guy? Now I can't remember. He was, he was no, he was good a good guy. guy. Yeah, I remember. Um, and then that's like his biggest film. There was some. Oop! He was so in a film called Awake, which he was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Award for worst screen combo. Oh, Shared the Razzies, Jessica Alba, and yeah, just not really done a lot. He's in a film again this year called First Kill, where he plays the father. That's all the information I've got on that. Oh, good. And Googling is saying there's a chance he could be a Force ghost in The Last Jedi. I would be okay with that. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they brought back... I'm not sure they can get Alec Guinness to do it, though. No, they'd have, they'd have to use good old Ewan. Oh yeah, they could use Ewan. Ewan McGregor. They'd have to use, and they'd have to... That could be cool to see uh, Ewan's Obi-Wan and uh, Hayden Christensen's Anakin again. Mm. Without going, I hate you! <laughs> yeah, it, was, it could be quite nice because I think it would be a way to to get people who started watching the last episode to be like, oh, who are they? And not have to get that. Not have to watch some other trash that is. The, the... You don't know who they are, then you can just fuck right off. I think. <laughs> That's a fun. Hello thing. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, goodbye, <laughs> listeners. But What's the? Um, oh, it's when he drops in to fight General Grievous and just goes, "Hello there." Yes. <laughs> oh god, I've never missed that. I love it. <laughs> And I'm sure there's the awkward scene where he gets given his lightsaber back. He's like, "Ah, oh, you dropped this. It's like, thank you. I'm like, yeah. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, I'm, I'm like an, 
I say that audio and have that as now as my my personalised text tone for you. <laughs> hello, oh, please do. Like hello, James. I want that as well. Hello. <laughs> there. I will do my best, dude. Yes. So oh. there was obviously that was was one of the news, one piece of news that came out. The second. Was... We started a very, at a fairly minor piece of news we there. Did. Star Wars. <laughs> Hayden Christensen might be coming back as a Force Ghost. I well, mean, there was there was some other bigger stuff, but you know, it's, you have to build to a crescendo. You don't want to. Oh. You don't drop the bombshell and the rest of the podcast is like subpar material. This way, they this way the listeners. No, that's what that is exactly what we do. <laughs> Kill it interest and early. Sorry, listeners. Okay, well, we'll go with the. So we're the biggest or the second biggest bit then now? I go for the second biggest. Second we'll biggest. Stick Star, to the theme. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. With single player. Uh, was announced mm-hmm. with a snazzy little trailer. I wonder if there'd be those, what was it? Uh, what was it from the original Star Wars Battlefront 2? The clone commanders fucking shredding with their shoulder mounted minigun things. Yes. It, I think the story, the story mode at least starts just after Endor, and you play as an Imperial, which I think... Yeah, I'm guessing from the trailer, that could be very cool. I think it could be really cool, because I imagine, because the people who have written the story are the ones that did Spec Ops The Line. Which went down pretty well, I think. It did. The the story of that was very well received, so I'm looking forward to them uh, kind of giving a more humanising approach is a bit of a word to the Empire because I feel like the, the goal will be to make you care about the Empire and as it becomes like yeah, the first order etc et et at the same time the, well the trailer was like watch these badass like black stormtroopers just annihilate everyone like what was it um, I nobody that. told us we nobody told us they were sending special forces and then that was Jason Statham trooper going <laughs> that's kind of the point or whatever it was. <laughs> but yes, you know what I mean? Yes, no, I do. I, I, I will never be doing running narrations of trailers again, ever, because that was just <laughs> abysmal. But you know you know what I mean. You know no, what I'm talking about. Yes, I, I do. I'll say, if, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's, it's easy available on YouTube, and I can rec- I would recommend watching it. So the other thing, obviously, the other thing that they teased with... Um, with the... I can hear you typing. Sorry, the... The other thing that they teased with the whole trailer was that you're going to basically... All eras. Yes, all eras in comparison to the first Star Wars Battlefront, which was... The original trilogy. Was just, just, yeah, it wasn't even... And they slowly expanded it out to be... Uh, you got one Force Awakens battle. Jakku? You got Jakku. And I know it culminated. I haven't played it for a long time. But the latest, the last patch they released, the last like, expansion, there was like a Death Star mode, which seemed to, which I think was really cool. And I think if I remember correctly, it was like a three, four phase battle. So you kind of went, uh, like there was bits on the ground, then you'd move up to, obviously do like the trench run and stuff, etc., etc. Oh, there was, are there going to be space battles like in the Star Wars episode? Star Wars Battlefront 2, like the original? I... I don't think they've said, but I would hope so. Me too, me too. Because... Because they were good even in the the old Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is going to get very confusing talking about two different games is. called Star Wars Battlefront 2. They've not done great on naming it. <laughs> but I think Space Battles was something like I missed from the most recent Star Wars Battlefront. Because it was, it was like the... Well, the yeah, because it was kind of a bit... The, the fights were okay, but I was like, I, did, I, did, I want to get off Tatooine and Hoth. Go into space. It was a big epic. Um, I found an everything we know about Star Wars Battlefront list as well. So yes, uh, the characters they've announced so far. Luke, Darth Maul, Yoda, Rey, and Kylo Ren. Which, uh, it's a good Wait, one. what the... Those in addition to what was in Star Wars Battlefront 1? Um, they haven't said in addition to, but I think... There's no Vader! Well, no, I assume, I assume many more yet to be announced. I just think these are the these are like the first five which they've definitively said 
are in, and I imagine. So it's a Star Wars game. They haven't said Darth Vader is definitive, definitively in yet. Come on. I I think you can What's easily going on? assume that Darth Vader will be in. <laughs> I feel like Darth Vader is always guaranteed for stuff like that. <laughs> well, I would I say I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get probably Han Solo in that as well. Oh, true. And then I'm trying to think. Probably, if I would be, I wouldn't surprise you if it was. You get Han Solo, Boba Fett as like your kind of your blaster guys. Vader, Luke, Darth Maul, Ray, kind of Kylo Ren as the lightsabers, and then probably Leia. I feel like they'll probably do Leia as a massive tribute to her and Carrie Fisher. Yeah, that's true. And they've also said there will not be a season pass. Thank fuck for that. I know. Oh my god, there's also offline local co-op. Since I'm scared, James. EA are doing things properly. Since when? <laughs> Since when did EA do this? Ugh. And, oh, they had a release date as well. Of November 17th. Which seems November early. 17th. It does seem pretty soon. Like, I would have put it in line with, or perhaps like the week before The Last Jedi or something. Unless the plan is to just be... Well, that is only that is only like a month beforehand, say four weeks oh, or yeah. so. So, um, my concern with the word season pass, in that I hope, it, I hope, it will, I hope it's going to be all free DLC, but I can now see it being... Uh, there will probably be a Last Jedi tie-in pack, won't there? Of course, of course there will be. Maybe something released around then. But probably. I guess that probably leads us on quite nicely to the, the final topic from, well, the final big bit of news from Star Wars Celebration Weekend, or party time. That was Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. In case you didn't know. Yeah, in case you've... In case you've been living under a rock. Yeah, been off the internet for the past, like, few, uh, week. It looked very good. It did look very good. And uh, you, you could definitely see the, uh... The essences of the Empire Strikes Back, with Rey, oh yeah, with Ray trading with rocks, etc., etc. What's that's this? I can't remember what the planet is called. Is is basically Dagobah? Oh God, is what that planet is called. And I know that the new planet is called Crate that we go to. Mm. It's like the new planet, which was with those red duster speeder bot things. So it's like. I see Greece survives in the, in the in a galaxy far, far away. Oh wait, damn it! It's a long time ago, isn't it? Damn that! Where's that joke? Balls. Um, I yes. didn't even get that joke, Paul. What the fuck? Great, Crete. It was vaguely there. Jesus. It was a stretch. I'll give you that. But yes. Um, I really liked what they showed. They and haven't showed the entire. Plot of the film. <coughs> Spider Man, I'm looking at you. <coughs> yep. Sorry. Bad cough. Bad, bad cough. Just take it off the And floor. like they've 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 left a lot of questions. Like Luke says it's time for the Jedi to end. I mean personally I think that's gonna be right at the start of the film and then Ray persuades him to not think like that, Luke. See I've seen the alternative speculation I've seen, and it's linked to the book they show. It's like something from Star Wars Rebels. And it's called, oh, you're talking about the the grey Jedi. Yeah, the grey Jedi, like the Jedi of the Rule or something. Something ridiculous. Where it's like... They so tap- that they are perfectly balanced between light yes, and dark. they tap into both sides and it's kind I've of... I've seen that argument and it was using... It was saying like, oh yeah, look, Luke uses uh, Sith power sometimes when he chokes those two pig guards. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I, I saw it all with just obviously the book they showed and like what looked like that temple. I think that their logo is on there, and people are kind of speculating that because obviously the way it with the Sith causing Kylo Ren to turn and murder everyone, why not become a better balance? So there is no need for the Sith, etc., etc. Blah 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 blah. Long-winded argument, but I can see both sides. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just. Luke is in hiding because he thinks they need to end, and then Ray goes, "No, train him." And he's like, 
All right then. <laughs> and it, or it, or it's like ah, uh, and uh, Ren killed Han, etc., etc. And it's like, well then, the Jedi must live on to fight. The Knights of Ren. Yes. I I think for the first one as well, they're going to be doing a flashback in The Last Jedi. At least they, because they showed, once again, they showed the scene of... Uh, the temple and his robot hand? Yeah, robot hand touching R2-D2, which I can, which I can only imagine is going to be Knights of Ren turning up, murdering everything. Which I, so I wouldn't be surprised if for the first time it will be flashbacks, and you'll be like, ooh... Well, we kind of we kind of got a flashback, sort of in. Um... Oh my god! <laughs> Episode seven. Sorry, I thought I thought I thought, um, I thought I was about to prep like a breaking news soundbite. <laughs> or just no, it? I was just I just spazzed out. Oh, what when when she touches the when Ray touches the yeah lightsaber. when she touches Luke's lightsaber. Mm. But then then that wasn't a flashback from. Ray was it? It was a Luke's Luke's flashback, so yes. we'll probably get that'll probably get expanded on, mm. and maybe we'll we'll see the flashback while Luke is telling Ray what happened. Probably, probably but, yes. Because I if I feel like I feel like that has to come quite early because I don't imagine Luke's going to be in the best mood to train someone after hiding away for quite a while. For however long, yeah. yeah it that if that story's like the opening part where it's like, I have a chain on because this happened. Flashback. But yeah, um, it looks like it's take place obviously, well, it's, as expected, right after the Force Awakens, because you you see Finn in New School back to tank. Yeah, New School back to tank. Sans liquid, and Sans being a tank, just like a pod. I think we we know he's already going to be in a some kind of back to suit, don't we? I I hadn't seen this. We we could you could be. I think I think it's been confirmed that he's going to be in some sort of back to suit, recovering from his back injury, back slicing injury. <laughs> Somehow that the, the jacket survived <laughs> intact because we see we saw the jacket again in the trailer, completely intact, but uh, his back got fucked up. Maybe the jacket fucked up his back. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Um, the jacket is Snoke. <laughs> Confirmed. So, I know there's... Yes, there is... I'm trying to think what else happened now. Obviously, there was, you saw the random clip of Kylo... Oh, yeah, Kylo's random mask was smashed to... Was that Ren's? It was Ren's. It was Ren's, yeah. Which... I haven't really seen anything, any sort of speculation on whether that is Ren rebelling <laughs> or... I think it's just... He kind of goes into... Uh... Temper tantrums. Temper tantrums quite regularly. So I'm thinking it just got smashed up in one of those. Mm. And he has a teeny tiny scar from getting half his face chopped off. <laughs> because again, Star Wars... <laughs> You just have to slightly bigger scar. And, Not for sure. And but they wouldn't is... be able to. They wouldn't no. be able to sell merch. If it was <laughs> ugly face, would they? I mean. And then, in kind of in very Empire Strikes Back tones, you obviously see a lot of the New Rebellion getting destroyed. Like the clips are very yes. dark. With oh my god, names! Why are we struggling so bad with names? Phasma, are you going to say? No. Who is the pilot, rebellion pilot? Poe. Poe. You see, yeah, Poe's X when getting trashed in that base. Which to me. And then Phasma t- walking in. Yeah. I, I, I forgot to say Yes. With the. So, in case you didn't realise, Phasma's back. Yeah, she survived her trash compactor experience. Thank God, because that would have been such a waste of Gwendolyn Christie. Mm. So, obviously, that looked very reminiscent. At least of kind of the Hoth getting trashed and yeah, I was going to say I think this new new battle of crate with these weird red pod racer thing looking Croc blobs. Dusters. Yeah, that's, yeah, 
is is going to be sort of like a carbon copy of Hoff. <laughs> mm. I mean, you can see in one of the clips, you can see the or well, look like eighty eighties walking towards them in the background. Jeez. On the horizon. Yeah. No, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see a lot of kind of hot stuff. And then... Like, I hope it... As long as no one gets the hand cut off, I'll be happy. Well, there was... No, no one was cut off... No hand was cut off in the last movie, I think. Who was this talking about this? But hands only cut off. I think off. it was Mr. Sunday Movies was saying uh, they're either going to have to cut both hands off, go dooku on them, <laughs> or... Like, throw a curveball and chop someone's foot off. <laughs> I think Mr. Sunday Movies suggested chopping Ray's foot off, and she has to, like, she has to make herself stand up using the force. <laughs> if they cut someone's foot off, that would be, like, the ultimate... Well, something had to get cut off, because it's the second movie, but we didn't just want to copy everybody. <laughs> oh, that would be... I I now hope they do do that. Just so it's not so it's not the hand, but it's still something getting cut off, like ha We pay homage, but slightly change it up. <laughs> so overall, good trailer. And I'm interested to see how much Carrie Fisher they're gonna put in it as well. Cause I know I think all her scenes were done filming, weren't they? Before she Yes, they were. They were she... done. But they have said that this is the last film. That she, she's not going to be in episode nine, which is it was interesting a... because all her film, all her scenes were done. So was that the plan all along, or have they had to retcon something in? I feel like they would have retcon something in. In that I can imagine them saying, "I." Cause I feel like they probably had. They was, I imagine there's wouldn't surprised there were more things they needed to do for nine. Or stuff that are going to change for nine, and they've now thought, well, we can't change it because of her unfortunate passing. So if we just will find a way to get her out, but kind of happy type thing. No, I don't think that will happen. I think she's going to die. Christ. Kill off the kill because, them all off. <laughs> because bec- no, because like there's there's another. We know there's another film. Hmm. And Leia's character isn't going to be like, oh, well, I mean, I know there's still, like, loads of the shit to do, but I'm going to go retire now. That's like that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, but I don't know, I don't know if they'd kill her. I could see them maybe putting her in, like, a... Like a carbonite. <laughs> carbonite, or, like, putting her in, having her suffer an injury so she has to be in a back to tank, but it's worse than Finn's type thing. Perhaps. Perhaps. Like a coma? Yes. I could think killing her, people will be a bit like... Unless, if it was originally planned, that's fine. But if it's Yeah, I'm thinking a, that... Original. I'm thinking that it might have been originally planned because... Because they said, yeah, all her scenes are done. Mm. Although they didn't actually say she wouldn't be in episode 9 until yeah. after... Because I thought she... Because I thought she I read... passed. Because I remember... I thought I read she was going to be in episode 9 originally, and it's only recently they said she's not going to be in episode 9. Thing is, I'm not sure why they would reveal anything about episode 9 yet. Mm. That's very true. I think they might have said it being like, yeah, like I, it, it's horrible, but she wasn't going to be in episode 9 anyway, so don't yes. worry, the film's okay. <laughs> Perhaps. Like, maybe? That's, a, that's a, like a weird way to think about it, I know, but... I'm thinking she might have not been in episode 9 anyway. I would agree with you, and I feel like it makes sense that they would probably say... I think you say that to kind of just... Because I always people will expect her to be like, oh, what are you going to do to... Like, oh, she died, so does this change everything for 9? Blah, 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 blah. Um, obviously that, I think that was really the biggest news that came out of... I don't think there's anything else that came from Star Wars. So, right. <clears throat> anything else? You mean only like a, a trailer for the thing? A, a yeah. Trailer for a new game? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anything else? You know. Seems, oh, it's pretty, oh, actually, pretty quiet celebration. Did you Did you actually see any of Star Wars celebration? 
Uh, I did not know. Why? What are you going to do? They had a, they had a video pre-recorded by uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, wait. I think... Why do you think that is in there? Yes, I think I heard this. I... And it, it even the, the video does say, like, it has been known that Jedis can fall incredible heights and survive, so... Uh. And that would, like, it was a pre-recorded video. That would have been pre, like, screened by the Star Wars guys, I'm sure. But so what do you think about Mr. Mace with his purple sword? I think he's, surely he'd be too old now. No. Anakin. Uh, not Anakin. Um, Obi-Wan was pretty old. Think... Use the force to live longer, Yoda. Mm. I mean, if he isn't there, I think he could be doing like a, an Obi One type thing and hiding away on a planet somewhere. Oh, if he is, that be that would be very cool. I think George Lucas has also said he'd be okay with uh, like if it was done, if it was done well, well. He'd be okay yes. with like Mace Windu being alive. How does it? I'm sure work exactly how it ends. Oh wait, having a quick look on Wikipedia. So see, Jack uh, Samuel Jackson has said he'd like to reprise his role as a Force ghost due to, due to the fact that he was killed at the end of the prequel trilogy. But ah, oh, but was he? Yes, but was he? Because again, you don't see anything, so you could easily. I mean, if you're gonna. If you're going to include him, it makes perfect sense. You would anything Sam Jackson says, you say to him, "Yes, say as a force ghost." So when you actually are alive, people would be more surprised. I, I think, you know, I think that'd be quite. I would be okay with Wendy coming back. And then, but it's a matter of just how to kind of work him in, because obviously no one would know yeah. about him unless you're assuming at some point you you don't that you didn't see him. Uh, that's true. No one, unless my I see, unless you there's some Yoda point, yes. told Lo, told Luke at some point about this dude. Yes, that's my thought. Is either you have some sort of set like scene where uh, when they were flying somewhere, they're in the Falcon in New Hope, Obi Wan said all about like oh the Jedi used to be this epic thing with the Council and there was Mace Windu and Yoda etc etc. Yeah, because Luke, obviously Luke knows um, Yoda. Yes. From band camp, whatever it was, force camp. <laughs> this one time, at force camp. I cut Darth Vader's head off and it was actually me. <laughs> well, or, I, or I could see it being maybe when... Actually, that could be great. If you, you could put him in the flashbacks, maybe. Possibly, Didn't yeah. say that when Luke was starting to train, Yoda was like, there is another who can help you. Mace Windu makes an appearance, and then they kind of go their separate ways. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Bit of, uh... Basically, to, to, to get a long story short here, we really need the last Jedi to turn up already so we can have all the questions actually answered. Yeah, <laughs> rather than wait another eight months. Oh, God. Release date, December 15th, 2017. Okay, so just under eight months. Oh, God, that's going to... Ugh. So, I wonder if you'll get... Oh, they, they did announce a new character, though. There was one new character announced, and I wonder... Oh, Rose, um... Yeah. The mechanic person who's going to play a key part, or a big part, is it? But we haven't. She wasn't really in the trailer too much, and we haven't. We that's all we know. Yeah, there's, there's one set photo. <laughs> um, see, I, I wouldn't be. I'm expecting more about Snoke as well. Yeah, Snoke wasn't even in the trailer. Mm, but I feel like I want to know more about him because he was. Let's see. There was a couple of. Um... Because YouTube and the internet goes crazy about these things, they were analysing like the um, the voiceovers. Because you know, there's a, there's like a yes. mumbling of Leia saying 
save me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Yes. There's also Obi-Wan Kenobi saying something or other, like Alec Guinness is Obi- Obi-Wan saying something. I yes, what I, think was. I, I think I saw something about that, and that they didn't, they cut it, I mean, they either cut some of his old lines up, or for some parts they did get McGregor back. To just say the odd like word. That no, I think it was it was it was Alec was Guinness. All, was all Guinness. Because I, I know it was all yeah, Guinness. Yeah, it sounds like it. Because like, having a quick so look at. I don't. I don't know if this is true at all. But there's there's a little bit of uh, Obi Wan scatterings around everywhere. I mean, is it? Can, if he's gonna, it makes a lot of sense that you'd at least see them as forced ghosts when Luke is training, or. If he's thinking, break up the Jedi, I can see, like, all of them being there to say, like, yes, this is a good choice, or, like, no, what are you doing? So, exactly, I'll having a quick look at... When It'll be just like episode one, with all the talking. <laughs> oh, God, no. I just need, like, a, qu- a quick cut of them. <laughs> not long, not long drawn out speeches. So you can have a look at Wikipedia. Which I about. love the Senate. <laughs> I love democracy. <laughs> what I have seen is there is Admiral Akbar's back. Uh, As are some other calamari. Yeah, Simon Pegg is dudes. back at his role again. Is so. one quarter Russian. Yes. Portion. Sorry, not Russian. Um, so I guess that's the yeah, again. It makes a lot of sense to go back to Jakku to find out about Ray. Uh, I believe that is because Simon Pegg is currently filming the next Mission Impossible film. Yes. With Henry Cavill, Superman, as the bad guy. Hmm. It'll be fun. It will be. I said, the recent Mission Impossibles, have, well, the last one was quite good. What was that? Rogue, Rogue Nation? Rogue Nation. It was good, yes. Uh, sorry, did Somebody Tom... climbs the Burj Khalifa. Uh, was that no. the one before it? That was... I think that was the one before it. I get confused. Yes, no, I, I, I can't remember what... But I, I'm confused, I may have got the, num, the naming wrong. Because there was... Mission Impossible... Yes, because there was... One, two, three. Th- one, two, three. <laughs> Four, I think, is the one where he is... There's Ghost, Pro- yeah, Ghost Protocol. Ghost Protocol, is, that's the one. Is Which the is one the one with... Um... Seymour Hoffman. Is that just uh, Mission Impossible 3? That's 3. Yeah, there's Ghost Protocol where he climbs the Berk- the, build- the Dubai building. Cause, yes, and then there's Rogue Nation. You, you can't pronounce it, can you? No. I do not try. <laughs> and the, bu- bu- the Dubai building. The Dubai building. And there's, yeah, Rogue Nation where he does the underwater swimming scene in the vaults. Oh, yeah. Oh, so cameo appearances that we so far have announced as well in Mission Impossible. In Mission Impossible, Star Wars, Tom Hardy, Star Wars. Gary Barlow, Gary Barlow, <laughs> uh, and Gareth Edwards of Gareth Rogue One Edwards. fame. Director of Rogue One. Right. I was like Gareth Edwards, the rugby player. Gareth Edwards. <laughs> Quite a is. Why is Gareth Edwards there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, he of Rogue One yeah, director. He was the, the director. Yes. yes, and you have yeah. Crazy. Oh, actually, oh, oh. interesting uh, thing. I know it's, it's it's completely different to Star Wars, but someone at well, okay, you know, everything is filmed in Toronto because it's cheaper than the states. Sort of, yes. I thought lots of the films at Pinewood, but yes. It isn't about Star Wars, Paul. Okay, continue on. Um, someone who was at uh, the pub last night when I was there is works in the production office for the new Star Trek TV series. Ooh. Dis- mm. the, the old Discovery. And uh, he was showing us some. He was showing us all he could. Basically, He's, he can't tell us very much, but I'm not allowed to repeat a lot of it. I know the director of one of the episodes, and I know some people who are in it. But that's it. It would be like 
Oh, he's in it. Don't know what else, don't know how long for, <laughs> but okay. it was kind of cool. Unfortunately, I'm not sure why I've told you this, because I can't actually repeat any of the information. <laughs> does it, from what you heard, does it, did it, did he just give you, like, kind of directors and cast, or was there some, like, general plot, just not like, like, general... No, no, there was not. Happened? Okay. So I was about to ask, without telling us what it is, is it good? Does it sound good? <laughs> Uh, yes, it sounds it sounds like it's going to be worth the watch. Okay, I would say I have to keep an eye on. I've meant to keep an eye on that because it's actually the first Star Trek without an Enterprise. Is it wasn't built yet? Yes. With the, and the some of the ship looks very odd from the the mock-ups. <laughs> um. Continue on the film theme, though. Shall we go with the other big film news? Which was... I think we'll have to. I don't know what it is. So The Thor Ragnarok trailer happened. Oh, of course. Which looked... Before the... Before Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. And it looked... Fun. It looked like Thor has got more fun. It, it looked very good. My... I'm gonna go. My, I'll go with my negative first. My only negative is, and I, it seems a bit like they've gone, um, they've gone retro worked through retro works for, for Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's throw some retro in for Thor, and I don't 100 percent see the purpose. What do you mean retro? Like the titles seemed. Is straight out of like an eighties film. Oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, I'm just concerned they may try and ham fist in like some some old kind of like retro nods and stuff, which won't necessarily work very well with it being a Thor film. That's my only potential concern and negative. Apart from that, the rest of it looks great. Like Asgard gets almightily effed up, <laughs> and you have Hulk. Hulk's back, which is nice. Yeah, we know where he was. I mean, we we, we figured that out. Yeah. A while ago. (laughs) What actually, like, he just drifted away in the Quinjet? Is that all we know? We don't know how he got to space? (laughs) No, my... um, My running theme, or thought is, sorry, uh, because... It's the is he pl- is it the Beyonder? Who is the, yes, I, th- I think Jeff Goldblum's playing the Beyonder. Who is the? I don't think he is. I, I think. Oh wait, I could have got, got the name wrong. I know he's playing. He's playing the Collector's brother, which is. Uh, let me double check what the name of it is. Where? No, not TV. I want films. God damn it! I need his filmography. Grandmaster, sorry, he's playing the Grandmaster. Grandmaster. So, I can only imagine that it. Will, I think it'll probably be explained, but it's. Pro- I think it would be very similar to he drifted away, and at that point, the Grandmaster's gone. Well, I need someone for my game, and he probably then found the Hulk as he was flying away, and as such, the Hulk has then gone. All right. Like, he's probably been captured, made to fight, and as the Hulk had not a lot else to do, and was quite down and depressed, he probably thought, fight will make me happy for a while. Yeah, we don't seem to see any uh, Bruce Banner. Yeah. Which is interesting. I feel like it's going to be very Hulk-heavy, if you assume that any of the opening parts... But the helmet was quite a, a fun twist as well. And they Which one? Um, Hulk's Thor, or Thor's? Thor's new one, where they managed to kind of still get the classic wing design, but like kind of modernized up, it. Yes, updated it so it wasn't just here's an Asgard helmet. But yeah, Thragrock looks very, very. Good. He's a friend from work. <laughs> <laughs> Doink. So yeah, I see it. I do like that. Say, so look very much. Asgard's going to get messed up. Thor's getting messed up with Molnir getting 
destroyed. Mjolnir. I skeptical as I am, and just just I feel like that is going to be some way, some sort of grand ending set piece. Like Thor will return, and Mjolnir will somehow come back stronger than ever in his effort to like beat. Hella or is it Hell? Hella. 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 If that's to be Hella, I think because obviously Odin will come back, etc., etc., and be like Thor, and Mjolnir will be like, ha ha, smash. Because it seems such like this is a classic part of Thor. It'd be weird for him to be without it. He's also getting two swords and a haircut, so how knows how much they're going to tradition. <laughs> I like his haircut. I. It looks very good. It looks a lot better than lady hair, Thor. <laughs> yes. I'm looking at what I also just thought of, actually. And I haven't actually had a chance to look at, so you can go through it for me and tell me. Oh, baby. Because I can't be bothered. <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 soundtrack was released. Oh, it w- also makes two of the out? Yes, I think Ooh. so. Also makes two. It, it, was, it, was, it was like the... Um, oh, yes. It's all like a set list. Also makes two available on cassette and vinyl. On cassette. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, okay. I will just get it on iTunes, though. I expect. Yes, me too. Have we got... Sponsor. <laughs> Apple, send us things. Okay, here we go. The track list follows. Mr. Blue Sky... Fox. As in ELO? <laughs> uh, yes, ELO, Mr. Oh. Uh Fox on the Run, Lakeshore. Not banned on the Run. Lakeshore Drive, uh, The Chain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that was in one of the trailers, wasn't it? Anyway. Yes. Bring It On Home to Me, Southern Nights, My Sweet Lord. Make me feel fine. <laughs> um, Brandy, You're a Fine Girl. Come a little bit closer. Wham bam, shang a lang. Surrender. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Father and son. Flash. Oh, I wonder where that's going to be used. <laughs> and finishing up with Guardians Inferno, performed by the Sneepers, featuring the one, the only, a David Hasselhoff. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, if they well, when they make a th- when was that made? I really want to jump in my car to make an appearance now. Two thousand six. God damn it! I need him to come back and start playing jump in my car. But yeah, I mean, it's going to basically be a banner year for films, really. <laughs> it's going to be brilliant because I oh, so the other the other film news I have was. Obviously, a while ago, the Alien Covenant trailer came out. It's everything. It's like, there's, still, there's obviously still Blade Runner to come this year. Blade Runner 2063? 2049, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picking a number. 20, no. um, obviously, War, of the Planet, War for the Planet of the Apes. War for the, that's going to be good, I hope. Uh, that's the It. Oh, that's, yeah, Stephen King. Oh, that's obviously Transformers, but Blair... Uh, Obviously, Transformers. But... Pa- uh, Pirates of the Caribbean with the return of Will. The yeah, Mummy, the Mummy remake. Cars 3. with Tom Cruise. Yeah, Jumanji with The Rock and um, Karen, Karen Gillan. Yeah, and I've completely blanked of her. Uh, hmm. Jack Black is in it as well. No, of her character name in Guardians of the Galaxy. Nebula. Nebula, thank you. Like it's, no, it's not Gamora. Stop thinking about Gamora. <laughs> know. It's going to be a, it's lots of films to come out. We're going to have to do many, many review episodes, I imagine. That's okay. That means we have to think of ideas. Exactly. <laughs> the content just writes itself. Is a new Colin Farrell film coming out? The Beguiled? Based on the novel The Beguiled, originally as a painted devil? 
Um, <clears throat> uh, there's it's not a Wikipedia page about the novel, so I cannot be of much assistance on this one. <laughs> it looks westerly, is as much as I've got. But Colin Farrell is from Ireland. Exactly. It's going to be in testing. Bruges, in Bruges is the best film. <laughs> Well, it's Colin Farrell's best film, probably. Yeah, oh, you can buy Volume 2 on iTunes now. Woo! How much is it? Ten ninety nine. So that's like nineteen ninety nine mm. For me. Oh, the iTunes review. By dropping the needle on classic rock cuts and forgotten 70s pop convection- confections, the Guardians of the Galaxy flip the conventional thinking of soundtracks on its head. What a- Ooh! <laughs> What? Someone uses a thesaurus. <laughs> I mean, iTunes come back to us. It such a oh oh wait are we the the blockbuster continues this fine tradition on the sequel, pulling from a dusty crate of one hit wonders and FM rock. Vol two bounces along with ELO, glam, pa- power pop, and more than one guilty pleasure. I, it sound the review just sounds terrible. <laughs> no, the review is like One showing in a good the... light, but it's 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 badly written, is what you're yes. saying. One man in the thesaurus having a having a field day then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Jeez, he's literally, he's literally just gone. Right, how many tropes can I find about music and just write them? <laughs> good gosh. Oh, in the start of our recurring segment now, James, <clears throat> do we know how the Toronto, I've always forgotten their damn name, Wolfpack, Wolfpack thank you, did this week? Did they play a game this week? Well, we, we, only, we only, well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't we recorded the last episode yesterday, Paul. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if they played Saturday or Sunday, that was all. Oh. I have no idea, I have no idea. <clears throat> Ooh, 2017 Toronto Wolfpack season it is on it, there's a Wikipedia page they signed young prop forward Toby Everett from the London Broncos recently uh, neat <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I need fixtures oh oh no schedule go to the website now their next fixture is on the 6th of May so we'll, we'll have to make sure to Check in. The sixth of May. What the fuck are they doing? Having a really long bye week, <laughs> or bye few weeks. <laughs> Is it because they they work in work? They play in Toronto. <laughs> oh well, no, because that's that is a home game. The sixth of May. Yes, that could maybe explain it. Oxford are coming to Toronto, James. Oxford are coming to Toronto. <laughs> oh my god! One pl- only one player on their team seems to. Uh... Seems to score. Oh, Christ, yeah. So yeah, Oxford. They've got they've got a string of. Oh, they end on four home games. Wow. Yeah, Oxford at home, Newcastle away, Barrow Raiders at home. Oh, I brought against this again. That's going to be a fun road trip for some of these teams. Some of these teams probably haven't even left the north of England. <laughs> Oh, I did raise the South. The South Wales team has a has a fantastic name. South Wales Iron Men. <laughs> really, yeah. I did not see that one. Yeah, South Wales Iron Men. New... Are they the ones from Merthyr Tydfil? <laughs> they could be. They are. Yes. There we go. Oh goodness! And I will definitely send a picture of their logo. But. As, as that section, as that segment has ended, we will we could end this podcast and go begin, hopefully, a trip into the old world of. I can't remember what the world's called. Pandora, the moon of Pandora. Pandora. I was like Pantheon. No, <laughs> not Pantheon. The gods. I've just sent you a picture of the South Wales Iron Man. Slogan. My phone, my phone is on the other side of the room and oh, not plugged in. I'm afraid. In that case, we will. We will I'll, I'll see it later. <laughs> we'll end so you can move. No, so uh, yeah. Where can everyone find you on the Tinder webs? I am on Twitter and in no, that's it at Jam Delay. 
J-A-M-D-E-L-A-Y. And... No, the, I always say that, but the YouTube is joint, so we'll do it at the end. <laughs> and the Twitch. Oh, the Twitch. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> um, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash steliusmkii. Yeah. Uh, I am on the front of Twitter and Twitch, and most places, at pludlow 21 because, like I said yesterday, it's hard to just get one word. And we are on YouTube at... Down to Flux. And you can email us at... I don't know. Um... <laughs> Down to Flux DTF at gmail.com. There we go. And, obviously, we're on Twitter at Down to Flux. And the, obviously, yes, the Gwent giveaway, I'm going to assume, will probably still be running, because I don't feel like anyone would have emailed us at all, so... If, if if someone has emailed us, I have I'll work on another giveaway, and it will immediately be entered into that because I'm gonna get something good for us. I can give away, and we'll make some sort of follow and retweet thing about it. So keep your ears open. Goodbye. And, well, not yet. If I, want, if I, I mean, hello. <laughs> for the most important part of this podcast. Oh, of course. We are just jolly as gin <laughs> to be a part of the Ninja Pancake family of podcasts. With podcasts it has to be gin because we're British. Yes. Even though I'm not, ha- even though I'm not having gin, I've out of watermelon champagne now. Um, with podcasts such as Bomb Show Jackets, once again, we mention you a lot. My morning coffee, my evening beverage, either or. Mulehorn Gaming, Geek Squatch, <laughs> Games, Nerds and Alcohol. There's many there. there there's a lot. A focus around video games. Or, if you just want to hear Remy and Tinks talk, but not as Remy and Tinks, as Jeremy and Sarah, it's weird. Good, but weird. Then, yeah, there's my morning coffee. Or our morning coffee, or our evening beverage. It's a confusing name. It changes a lot. And with that poor advertisement, (laughs) goodbye. (laughs)